You know what a lot of people want to see on Elemental's forms, huh? I hear you. Conditional logic. Basically, what if you pick an item in your form and then it shows you further questions related to that item? Or you want to let people pick whatever options they want so that when you get a form back, you get more information about them. And it also encourages them to think a little bit deeper as well. Now, for conditional logic, there's lots of other plugins out there. One of our favorites is Forminator. It's a free plugin. I would recommend it. But Maxine for Elements.how has provided some funky, gunky code, which allows you to add conditional logic to your elemental form. No extra plugin required. And that's what we're going to do here right now. The very first thing you got to do is add in some HTML code. Now, the code for this you can get from the description in the video. And a big thanks to Maxime again for alerting me to this. Let's add in the HTML widget. And then I'm going to drop in this code. Quite frankly, you don't need to do anything to the code except one thing. Over here at the top, this bit here, okay, that I've just highlighted, I'm going to get rid of it. When you get the code, this is how it will look. But you need to add in this extra little bit, which is explained in the instructions. So don't worry about that. But what I've done is I have identified three extra components. One is called websites. One is called SEO. One is called page speed. And I've also got an item called how can we help one, two, three. Now stay with me, OK? We are going to come back and I'm going to leave that on screen so you can get you can start to see how the logic works. Let me, well, I'll show it to you again when we come back to it. I'm going to add in a form. The form will sit below that HTML. Don't worry about the HTML when you're actually viewing it on live. It's practically invisible, OK? So it's not going to take up any real estate. So don't worry about that. I'm going to go to this form and get rid of a message. We're going to have a name and I'm going to make this be, uh, uh, whoops, I'm going to make it be 50% and I'm actually going to get rid of the label as well. I'm going to go to email and make that be 50% and I'm going to get rid of the label. Now, there is a setting in styles where you can, well, sorry, it's not in styles. You can get rid of it over here. The reason why I'm leaving label intact is because you're going to need it for the conditional forms bit. You get rid of your label here and you've lost the question for the conditional logic. So what I'm doing is just individually getting rid of it. OK, fine. Fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is add in my conditional logic field. I'm going to add in a checkbox. Now, what we do here, you can only do with a radio, a select or a checkbox. Now, I would say that is kind of quite logical for a conditional logic form because you want to be able to allow them to pick what they want to pick. If you go and say, hey, have a text area, well, trying to get logic to work on a text area is kind of illogical. So I'm going to go for a checkbox. So for our very first question, how can we help? We have three options or three answers. Do we need to build or redo a website? Do we need to improve your SEO? Do we need to improve your page speed performance? Now, these are three questions. And depending on which one you pick, it will now determine or give you the option to answer further questions. Basically, conditional logic. Now, whatever order you add in your answers here, you must make note of that. So please note that redo a website is number one. SEO is number two. Page speed performance is number three. Let's go back over to this HTML over here. Can you see we have one for websites, two for SEO and page speed for number three? Now, we're still not done yet because there are still some key bits we need to get in place. I have over here got the word, how can we help? It's one word, no space, no syntax, no funny, funky formulas or anything like that. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go back over to my form and where we have this field, which is how can we help? And this bit is really, really key. Please pay attention to this. In the advanced tab, we have an ID. The ID for this is how can we help? No spaces. OK, no exclamation marks, question marks or speech marks or anything like that. One word, how can we help? So when we go back to the code, we are now going to show you further information relating to websites. If you pick option one, you pick option two, you will have further questions for SEO. 
Now let's go in and add in those questions. Okay, so let's add in another field. This will again be a checkbox. We've given a question of do you have, and then we've basically given them four options. You already have a website. You might have a layout in mind. Do you have your images and content? And are you selling anything? So is this gonna be a woo e-commerce shop or anything related like that? You could expand on this. You could go further, but you know, you don't wanna overdo it with too many questions because you hopefully want them to fill it in and convert and then continue the journey. Now, again, there is a key bit to this. If we go to the advanced tab, the ID for this, I'm gonna call websites, lowercase, one word, keep it simple. So I've called it websites like that, okay? Why did I call it websites? Well, quite frankly, it should be pretty obvious by now. If I go back to the HTML, if you pick option one for how can we help, it will then show me the field related to websites. Does that make sense at the moment? So now we've got to do one for SEO as well. So let's go back over to our form. I'm actually going to uh, duplicate this field here. So for the second option here, we've got a question of are you, and then the three answers are using an SEO tool submitted to Google, or have you got your keywords already on your pages? That's going to be option number two. If I go to advanced, the ID for this will be SEO. A question three, we're asking, are you using an optimization tool, preloading your images and your fonts, and are you optimizing for the mobile, you know, making it responsive and things like that. They are our three questions. And I just need to make sure that for the third one, I've again given this an ID and I'm gonna call it a uh, page speed like that. Obviously in the styling type, mess around with like your distance and how things look in there because otherwise it can start to look a little bit very scrunched up. But don't worry about how big this is looking at the moment because these options are not gonna be visible until you pick an item. This is on preview. We have your name and your email. I'm just gonna put in a fake name. Well, I'm gonna put in my name. I don't know why I said fake. And I'm gonna put in uh, one of my fake email addresses like that. Now watch what happens. Do you wanna build or redo a website? Watch this. Look at that. That option has now become a visible. Let me untick it. Let me go for page speed performance. It has now become visible. Right, improve my SEO. Yeah, I'm using an SEO tool. I could hit send. But here's what's really cool about this, okay? If I was to go back over here, you could change your questions. So I could go with how can we help? And rather than saying that, I could say uh, multi select allowed, or maybe you might wanna add in a comment or a text field somewhere else on the form saying multi select select is allowed. Because by allowing multi-select, I could go, I wanna build a website and um, um, I already have a website in mind and I have a layout in mind. So um, I wanna go for, yeah, I'm gonna tick all of these. And you know what? I want my page speed performance as well. Okay, well, I'm, you know, I'm, I am optimizing for the mobile and then I'm gonna hit send. So here's the results. Ignore the fact that you get all of the gunk like the IP address and stuff like that and you know what machine you were using. I didn't get rid of them in the form, but that's slightly irrelevant. But what we get is we get the name and the email. Remember I hid the labels, so the labels are now missing. We then get told how can we help? And we can see here that the person has gone for website SEO and improving. We can see the second question here. Well, they already have a website and they have a layout in mind. Um, they are using an SEO tool submitted to Google and they already have keywords and they are optimizing on the mobile. Now you might wanna mess around with the fields and how it looks when you get that return email. That's entirely up to you. But I have now really quick and easy without any extra plugin got a conditional form logic built in on a website. And this is super, super awesome. Okay, let me just refresh that page. Remember how it works. This is where you start. And then you go, oh, I wanna do that. Okay, yeah, I wanna go with that. And you hit send. So you can now do that within Elementor without spending money and going elsewhere. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. With the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.